Welcome back. My God, Christmas was quite long to go four days like this. I never want to do it again. And then I was reminded by my wife, what was it, yesterday, where she goes, yeah, do you know next weekend is uh, New Year's Eve? So you have New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and the weekend anyway, so it's all for like another four days. So whoop de doo right? So exciting. And not that I'm a Grinch or like a Scrooge. I just don't, don't necessarily like that many days off. It makes me go crazy. I had fun. had a great time. Just go crazy. Hey, Bruce, I see that you're on. I was just talking to Abigail. She had told me that she's emailing you. So uh, I, uh, I certainly trust that that will be reconciled. And super great. You're going to have a lot of people that are quite pleased for Christmas. And they may ask you a bunch of questions this year, like, Bruce, what is this? Uh, what's going on? And next year, they're going to say, oh, my God, you got that? Super cool, right? So congratulations. Hey, Robert. All right, so we have something pretty cool for everyone today. Bruce, hopefully. Hopefully. Actually, Bruce, so you know what? What's even really cool, so it kind of parlays into what we're doing today. Uh, this week, we're going to share our 2022 month by month uh, plans. Okay? This chair, I need to like really sort it to be comfortable. Um, and I, I believe once you go through what our 2022 is gonna look like, the vision starts becoming clearer. Um, what I've always counseled everyone that I've ever met was you have so many people that come up with good ideas, right? Hey, Angus, people always come up with the good ideas and it's not that there's a deficit of good ideas and it's just a deficit of writing them down and actually doing them, right? Like, so sometimes someone has a good idea at 2.30 in the morning, the bar's last call, oh my God, and they wake up and they never remember it. Or someone has a good idea and they talk about it and talk about it and then they never do anything about it. And step one, I've always learned to doing anything. And it's not that I learned in the sense of someone told me to do it. I learned that this works for me. You have to write it down and you have to do it in steps that you could become accountable to, that you can make yourself accountable to. So like you know what we do at Rhino is we have it on a week by week by week. And we're so accountable that we make it in uh, that anyone could view it and that the numbers are all calculated against the number after it's and all calculated from the number before it. Therefore, there's no place to hide. We are forced to do it, uh, to do it well. Kind of like um, the circus on the flying trapeze when they take the net away. You're either going to catch that trapeze or you're gonna die. And I actually don't go to circuses because I'm always terrified that they're not going to catch it. Hey, Frida, it was really fantastic. Thank you. How was yours? Um, but in terms of business, I always catch that trapeze. Like, I have no problem putting it out there because it actually helps me. It helps me when I'm so accountable that I'm so transparent that I put it out there. Now I'm accountable to others. If I just went ahead and had a really bad or a week or two, you know, it wouldn't be like I'd be able to hide in a corner. People would be like, Anthony, what the heck is going on over there? Um, so I just find that to be the best thing to do. That being said, we have a very exciting next year. So to the point that Bruce said, as I hopefully, which was in response to me saying that it's going to happen and his uh, family and friends and loved ones will be quite pleased with the gifts that Bruce has afforded them, is what does our next week look like? next week? What does our next year look like? And what does that mean going forward? So I'd like to go ahead and share what that's going to look like to share a vision with you. And I did email it. I did go ahead and copy and paste it as an image. But depending on how you open the email, maybe it was small, maybe you had to like, I don't know, right? Hey, Brian, uh, Merry Christmas. So let's do a shared screen and go into it so you can see where it is, how you could view it yourself. And let's talk about it a little bit. Today, I'm really just going to present it. I'll read it off and let it digest. And we'll see where we go from there, right? Okay. So let's do a shared screen. Let's move some stuff over. Okay. And please forgive me. I'm addicted to chapstick. Okay. Let's start with... Is AOL still a search engine? Yeah, well, like he could do calculations. Distributive marketing. Okay. All right, so on AOL, oh, there we are. 
Always warms my heart to see that we're number one. I promise you, there's going to be a day that we're not number one on something, and I'm probably going to throw a computer and not mean to do it. And I'm going to be like, oh, my God, I'm sorry. But every time I do this, I'm like, oh, we're number one. And the day that it happens, otherwise, I'm going to be very upset. Okay. So we're on AOL. As you see, you're brought to our homepage. Now, there are things that will be changing with the homepage. As of tomorrow, uh, Abigail is... Um, sorting out the charity, uh, Rhino charity page, um, because she took a lot of video and a lot of pictures and a lot of really, really great, um, just great content. I gotta tell you, I'm constantly blown away by the Rhino community, but the amount of Rhino merchandise that was purchased from our community that went directly to the 23 families, the 23 children of those families for Christmas, is something special. And it's something that we're going to share with you. It's going to be on our homepage for forever. Um, and just, you guys should really applaud yourself. So I can't wait to show it to you tomorrow. The Rhino Charity page uh, will be up and running and it's just going through its last final stages of uh, editing, but it is wonderful. So I just wanna say that. Uh, secondly, we do have a Rhino feed coming. So kind of like Twitter meets Reddit and they have a baby. We have that for ourselves because we do want somewhere to call home. We want somewhere where everyone can engage with everybody else. We'll have moderators. We'll have engagement. We'll have posts. You'll be able to be notified when someone messages the post that you wrote. It's going to be quite special. That's coming too. I think that will... I don't know if we're... I don't know if it'll be up tomorrow. I was reviewing it earlier. It'll be up this week. All right, so let's go to Rhino 2022. Now, where can you find it, right? This is our homepage, la da 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 Rhino coin. Now, because, um, because it's so important in terms of next steps, I put it with our balance sheet because I put it on a Google Doc, uh, like an Excel doc. So you'll see uh, view Rhino balance sheet. And then underneath it, you'll see this tab. So this tab is called Rhino 2021 to Rhino 2024, right? Today's 2021. This last green line is January 2024. You can figure it from there. What's Rhino 2022? Okay. So let's go ahead and open this up a little bit, right? For all those that are involved in Rhino, which is all of you, especially those that are, that are more involved than others, right? Because everyone has the opportunity to purchase coin. Some people do, some people don't. I can only guide you and tell you that those that do are going to be far happier than those that don't. Now, I can't prove that or say that as fact. I just know it to be true. It's like if someone says, prove God to me, what do you do, right? Like I, I was just watching a Miracle on 34th Street with my wife and that court case at the end, it's like, well, uh, the little girl hands the, the judge the dollar that says in God we trust. And we have a whole institution, a whole currency backed by just the acceptance that there is a God and we all trust and in God we trust. And that's how they went ahead and, and ruled that there was a Santa Claus, right? Chris Kringle was Santa Claus because we believe in him. That's Rhino. I can't show you or prove it to you today because I don't have the time machine to walk you through what it looks like two years from now. But I know it to be the case. And the closest I can come to that is to go ahead and actually outline everything for you. Now, these are documents that any normal rational company in the entire history of the world keeps in house. Because I can tell you something, when a company releases this stuff, they are completely accountable. They're completely exposed to everyone. And when they release this to their investors, to the people that own the company, to the people that own the coin, to the people that are participants in the company, they are more naked than ever before because this is me telling you this is what's going to happen, which means very demonstrably and very obviously I could be proven correct or incorrect. I could be looking like the biggest fool or the biggest hero. And the only difference between those two things are can we go ahead and execute this plan. 
And I only know a way to execute a plan by giving it in piecemeal. All right, if I accomplish this, if I get to B, then I get to C. If I could get to C, then I could get to D. If I could get to D, then I could get to E. Because I never look at A to Z and say, oh my God, I'm only at A, how do I get to Z? Z doesn't matter, B matters. Because if I can't get to B, then Z doesn't matter at all. And then if I can't get to C, and then if I can't get to D. So can I go ahead and offer that to you? Can I give that to you? Can I show you and hold accountable myself and for you to hold us accountable that this is the plan for 2022. Now, that big soliloquy I just gave doesn't really mean anything if this isn't impressive, right? Like if I'm about to read to you, and then by August 2022, we're going to make our first sale. You better hold me accountable to that. Well, then that's really worthless and you should take me and throw me out a window. That's not this. So let's go through what it is and I believe that upon the completion of us presenting this to you, you will simply say to yourself, if they're even able to do half of this, what I got myself into. And more so than that, you're going to look at me and say, this doesn't seem like that difficult for Anthony. Like he's going to get this done. And when you start piecing it together, you start realizing, whoa, we're there. This is the right place. This is the right time. We found ourselves in that moment. You always hear of it. You hear about other people doing it. You hear about other people hitting it big. You hear about other people that got lucky doing something. This is right now, and you're in it. So let's go. So January 2022, we're going to introduce our Rhino Meetings host. Now, that's the action. The goal is that this host allowing somebody that their only responsibility is being host to our community allows them to gain a deep understanding of all of our rhino personalities to ensure that every single one of our rhinos is always heard how many times will someone maybe message something and i'm saying and i say okay i'm i'm speaking i'll get to it maybe i don't get to it maybe that person by doing so uh, allows others to see okay he's not going to get to every message how can i be heard oh anthony's presenting this, but he has to run. He has this to do because he has an entire company to grow. He's not going to hear me. You know how many times people message me and they go, oh, Aunt, sorry for bothering you. And I'm always, I always say, don't apologize. I'm like, we're together. My time is your time and your time is my time. But I, but I do say I, I only have a minute though, because what they're apologizing for is not that I need the apology, but it is accurate. I, I am really busy. I can't really speak. So we should have someone in this front of house position that has only one goal in mind, has only one responsibility, and that's to know what you had for breakfast, what you had for lunch, what you had for dinner, and what your best friend called your son in uh, while they were watching Barney, right? Like we want to know all that stuff. We want to know your person. We want to know how we can be one with you. And that takes hiring a very special person to do that. So what's the responsibility of this position? Well, to organize the meetings, right? We have a meeting every day. Um, it's sent by my email, which I still believe I'll probably always email because I like keeping in contact. I like keeping that touch with everyone. But the meeting curriculum, the meeting um, itinerary uh, will be managed by this person. And it's because this person will have the ability that they know the crowd, they know the community, they know who's looking for what, they know the temperature, they know the morale, they know the emotion, they know the passion of what exactly we're doing at that exact time. Schedule speakers. We have speakers on all the time and we're going to have many, many more as we go forward. In fact, I believe we have Mark on Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Share the Rhino vision. We have new members every single day, every single day. In fact, can I, oh, I could just do this, okay. We're at 478. Now, you might, 400, this is Monday, right? So this is Monday of this week. So by all counts, this 478 could be right here. So last week we got up to 476. The week before that was 417. The week before that was 376. The week before that was 310. The week before that was 241. The week before that was 185. Again, it's, we have not fully rolled out this platform. We have not done the super duper awareness campaigns and all the things that I'm gonna show you we're gonna do in 2022. 
And you know what? If I could best illustrate something, this number right here, $29.40, this is the average amount each individual rhino uh, uses to purchase additional rhino coin on an average week, which means the average rhino purchases $29.40 worth of rhino coin every single week. The point being, those that understand and see what is going on here are really putting themselves in a position that at the end of the day, and let's say the end of 2024, um, their world is going to be very different, right? So the numbers are here. The growth is there. and But the growth is free, right? Like we're offering a free platform. So when you take a look at a growth number like that, you might say to yourself, well, Ann, you're you're handing out candy, like who wouldn't want it? Well, this isn't free. Yeah, we give you 50 coin per month, but there's been 18 million, 38,000 coin purchased. That's almost $30 per person per week. The people that see it, see it. Okay. Uh, so the point of what I was trying to say was that this individual is going to continually share the Rhino vision because more people come on the platform that are new every single day. And they, it is responsible on us to make sure that we are able to speak to someone new and speak to someone that's been with us for a hundred days with the same exact words and they both understand, right? And responsible for reporting daily Rhino challenges, goals, and accomplishments. Hey guys, today, this is what we have our hearts set on. This is how we're going to get it. This is how we accomplished it yesterday. Uh, we have this challenge coming up. We need to get to this number by this date. Anyone have any ideas? This is what we're doing to get there. This is how we're going to share it to you. You know, go Rhino, right? Like you should always know on any given point exactly where we are. Because again, I will say it again and again and again. We do not own this platform. We're simply leading it. We're simply pioneering it. We're simply taking the responsibility and the obligation to say, I know we can make it different. Who would be calling me right now? Sorry about that. Okay. I love when people try to call me, especially when it's potential spam. Sorry, not interested. Um, yeah, I don't own this platform. I'm simply leading them. Simply accept the responsibility and the obligation to say, I believe this can work, and I'm going to do my part and sharing that awareness and creating that passion and that excitement and creating it to actually building it. And for those that are able to see it, to bring them along and us build it together. Because when we go ahead and build something that has thousands and hundreds of thousands of people involved, the same thing always happens. Oh my God, look at that. How did it get started? And every one of those stories always has someone that says, I believe this to be true. And I was unwilling to take no for an answer. And then you have those that believe and they see and then they go and they move and everyone moves together, but it always starts somewhere. And I believe that's us. And I believe that you should always know every single thing that happens on any given day. Okay, so that's January. So now, obviously January is going to continue for the rest of the year, right? Like we're not hiring the host for one month. February, we're gonna hire a small business specialist with the emphasis on internet marketing. This position is going to mentor all of our rhinos on all things small business to ensure successful marketplace companies. What do I mean by that? Actually, I'll just go through. This position is going to be scheduled one day every week on our live meeting. So our, our rhino host is going to schedule our small business specialist one day every single week where it will be a structured presentation. It's not going to be this individual just freestyling, uh, something of value. Hey, guys, um, as a small business. These are the things that we need to look for. These are the, this is the best software we have. This is the best strategy we have. This is how we would do this. Um, hey, listen, we're going to take this company and make a case study of them. This position's sole responsibility is to make sure every one of our companies are successful. Now, how are they going to do that, right? So it'll be a live Q&A on that one call for the week. So we have this person, but that person is going to be an employee or I hate employee, team member of Rhino. They're going to have a Rhino email. They'll have a Rhino communication. You will always be able to reach this person. And this person's sole job is to make your company successful. Now, everything builds on the next thing. So before you think to yourself, well, why would anyone be doing that for me? 
It's the platform. We need the platform to be successful. And the platform's only as successful as its weakest links. So if we have a platform of businesses and every single business is not a good business, then what's that platform worth, right? So this is why we need to take these steps. This individual is going to communicate expert evaluation uh, and a calendar link to all Rhino marketplace companies. What does that mean? This individual's sole responsibility is to go through every one of our Rhino marketplace companies, right? So if you're not on marketplace yet, I don't know what you're waiting for, but they're going to go through every single marketplace company and take notes. Okay, let's go through ABC company. All right, I like this. This could look better. This aesthetic should be there. Uh, there's too much verbiage over here. This call to action doesn't work. It could be optimized if it did this. They should have a, a video that's more telling over here. I see they have 17 products. They should bring it down to three. They should do this color coordination. You see where I'm going with this? When someone's able to take your idea and polish it up, it's only better for you and your idea. Now, this individual is going to be able to make a list of all of those recommendations from their professional opinion, which is only in your best interest because, again, we need a platform to be successful. We need companies to be making sales. Therefore, it is our goal that every single company make sales. Therefore, we are hiring these positions and we are paying these positions to reach out to you and say, this is how you can make your company successful. There's no secrets here. We're not doing all of this for free. We're trying to own the platform. The platform is only worth anything if everyone on it is successful, right? Like, like for instance, my wife has me watching Game of Thrones, right? So they have this group, the Dothraki, and they are these vicious, like they're warriors, right? And then they all left them. And all they're left with is like the people that they took over as slaves in the community and that they took over. So like all the, the children and the weaklings and the stuff like that. The point being, if I was looking for an army, I'm not looking for an army of a thousand people. People doesn't, what does people mean? I'm looking for a thousand warriors, right? Like I want a thousand super duper duper like can fight. I, if I have a thousand 14 year olds, what's that going to do? The point being, my army is only worth as much as their ability, which means our platform is only worth what its ability is. If you had a platform, like say for instance, Amazon, Nike, Whole Foods, Lululemon, they all said, okay, we're only on, we're over here on this platform. Well, that platform is pretty good. You want to be on it. What if that platform had uh, Crazy Al's glue and, and, and Mikey's apple pie and Susie's licked Tootsie Roll? You'd be like, well, I want nothing to do with that platform. And it's like garbage companies. Why would I want to be over there? So this position is going to be doing that. Um, their responsibilities are the the quality of your product or service. Then you have a, a robust email marketing ability, right? Like when you have people that come to your site and they go ahead and sign up for your newsletter or people that go ahead and click a button, are you able to track them? Are you able to email them? Are you able to capture their data? Are you able to go ahead and make sure that you could encourage them to come back? Are you able to engage them? Are you able to win their business? Do you have uh, something free to give them? Do you have, like, how are you, gaining these clients? How are you going to have customers? Well, this is how, right? Like you need to be having this stuff. Email marketing. Do you have any paid ad marketing? Should you have some paid ad marketing? What's your company messaging? And like I just said, do you have a 52-week uh, business plan with 10 categories? Now we have a, a two-year business plan. Well, it was a little more than two years because we're show-offs, right? But if you had something like that for your company, I would really trust it. If you had, if you said, okay, Ant, this is my one-year business plan, and I have it broken down over 10 categories over, over 52 weeks, and each week I mark off and check off to make sure that I can successfully get to the next week, what do you think? I'd be absolutely floored. I'd be so excited with your company. I'd say, I don't, I would say to you, listen, I don't know how successful you're going to be but I know that you won't be not successful because I don't know the heights you can reach, but I know that anytime you mess up, you're going to catch yourself because you're constantly making sure that you're accountable to your numbers. 
this position is going to put that together for and with you, right? Every Rhino Marketplace company is making consistent sales to pleased customers. Remember when I showed you the statistic, well, actually it's right here, right? Of the individuals that are actually paying for Rhino coin. Would I consider them or would you consider them to be pleased individuals? Yeah, because they're, no one's forcing anyone to do this. They're so pleased with what they see that they're saying, I want to be more a part of it. That's the same thing with your company. If your company is selling lawnmowers and you're making a lot of lawnmower sales, but more so than that, the people that are, sell, that are buying the lawnmowers are now sharing it with other people. They're liking your Instagram page. They're reposting your Facebook post. That's a voluntary behavior that they don't need to do, but it's showing you how with you. This position is going to do that for you. What do you need to do for yourself first? Let me just do this real quick, because if you're not part of Marketplace, you should be. So join Marketplace. I'm copying the link. I just want to put it in the chat really quickly. And just to show everyone what that is, so I click the button. First name, last name, email, phone number. Um, is this an existing business, right? Do you have one or do you have a business idea? Is it a future business? Because we're going to create the website and everything for you. Again, this platform is all you need to do is understand that you are your own business owner. You're either selling your labor to your employer or you're selling your talents to your customers. But once you have a business idea, you can then create a business for it. Because what we do is we're going to provide you the marketplace, provide you the traffic, provide you the authority, provide you the ecosystem, the algorithm, the search, the marketplace to allow you to be successful. Because again, it's in our best interest. We need you to be successful. We need everyone. We need infinite people to be infinitely successful. And when I say our best interest, we're acting in your best interest because the coin is where the value is going to be captured for everything we're doing. And what are we doing with the coin? We're giving it away to you. Plus we're allowing you to purchase it at a cent and a half. We're doing everything we can to take something Capture the value of population, liberate a 99% a that is that, that's been completely enslaved by big business and big government, allowing you to become your own small business, allow you to become a successful small business, and allow you to have ownership in a marketplace and an ecosystem that you own the coin that's going to liberate your future, right? I know that's a lot of words, but that's what we're doing. And I do not give an SHIT how much kicking and screaming anyone's going to do. I will do it by pulling you. Um, because once you enter this webinar, you're in my house, right? Like, it's not like I'm showing up at your door. Um, anyway, uh, what is your business name or what was your business name going to be? What's your business, um, or do you have a business idea? Like, what is it? Uh, what's your URL? Do you not have one yet? Let's create one, like, right, that you need one. Do you have a logo? Send it over. If you don't, click that you need one. Click that you need a website. Click that you need something else. And let the something else be, I need my belly rubbed and head tapped, right? Like whatever you need, we're going to do for you. But that's that link that I just put in the messenger. And when you go ahead and submit this, it will come to our Rhino Marketplace team who then works with you one-on-one -on -one in creating your site. In fact, uh, where's Revive? Because that was the most, that's like one of the most beautiful sites. So Revive, we actually created with the business owner. Look at this website. This website did not exist before Rhino. Look at all these different things. And you want a cute little video? Look at this. And they went ahead and found authority. Look what Dr. Oz says about intravenous vitamin therapy. It does not say, look what Dr. Oz said about us. You want, to, this person is in business to provide something that they believe is ethical and valuable. Well, maybe you don't know this person, but do you know Dr. Oz? If Dr. Oz believes and agrees with this person, maybe you have something, right? This site did not exist. This site was created by someone filling that out, right? Okay, anyway, getting back to where we were. Um, I don't even know where we were. Okay, so that's what we want Rhino Marketplace to look like. Now, what does that mean in March? In March, we're hiring a publicist and event coordinator. This position is to generate and manage publicity for Rhino. Coordinate bi-weekly magnificent Rhino events. And I say magnificent because anyone that knows me knows I'm not just getting on stage like, hey guys, and my name's Anthony, and I just want to tell you a little bit about what I have to say today. 
Um, I met this guy named Jay. He lives by the bay. You know what I said? No, that's not it. I want an event. I want something magnificent. Magnificent. Rhino events. Headlined by Anthony speaking. So this position is going to be responsible for booking me out every two weeks, right? So this position will say, okay, you know what? Let's do uh, an event in Boise, Idaho. Okay, let me get the venue. Let me do some marketing in the area. Let me go ahead and get the people scheduled. Let, you know, what does it take that I can then fly out there? Hey, Deborah, what does it take for me to then fly out to get me to fly out there and have a venue of like a thousand people that I could speak to and then I can mingle with? Can we do an all weekend event? Can we go ahead and book a banquet hall and just serve food to the whole community for an entire weekend? Right? Like, I don't know what that looks like. But I do know that I'm not one that's going to say, all right, and then we're going to do a Zoom meeting. Um, and I know that's what we're doing right now, but there's levels to it. You have to start at A, and then you go to B, and then you go to C, right? Like we already talked about that. Um, so along with being able to book me out on a biweekly basis so that I can then get in front of crowds of thousands and share our message, because I can promise you as, as much as you may like me over a Zoom call, when we're able to go ahead and get a group together and get a movement to go, we're going to make believers. When, when I go ahead and get in front of a crowd and simply have on the telechat, um, um, join here, and everyone just goes on their phone or they put the QR code and they're all on to Rhino, we're going to have hundreds, if not thousands, signed up in every single event. And then when I have time to spend the whole weekend with everyone mingling, going through the town, patronizing the businesses, meeting everyone, how many new businesses do we get on? What is the value of sending me somewhere for a weekend with one goal in mind to make new friends, meet new rhinos? You gotta remember, we're not charging anyone for anything. I want to get out there and share everything we have with everyone because the more people that come in, the more valuable it is. Do you, can you even think about what the numbers to look like at the end of the year. Well, on top of that, this individual is, is in charge of maintaining the publicity. They're in charge of making sure we get those media events, to go ahead and get those media articles, to get those media interviews, right? The two things, the two sayings that I want to be household sayings by the end of next year, I'm with Rhino. Well, that's Rhino. And it's funny because I was sitting with my wife this weekend and she said something and I was like, or I said something, I don't know, someone said something. And I go, well, we're gonna do it like this, this, and this. But you get it. Well, that's Rhino, that's the way we, oh, no, no. She was saying, Aunt, I saw an ad for something and it was like not even a quarter of what you guys do and you do it for free. And I said to her, well, that's Rhino. And it hit me and I actually ran to my phone and wrote it down in the notes section that I was like, I could share it today. I want, that was such an easy thing for me to say. It flew right off my tongue. Well, that's Rhino. We do things like that. We make sure that everything we do is not only the top of the line, but we found ways to make sure that we do it for everyone at no cost to them because they're not the people we want to take the money from. We cannot take the money from the people that we're looking to help. It makes no sense. I won't do it. But there's plenty of money to be had. And the value of what we're building is something that is worthy of investment from anyone that's willing to see it, right? So I want these two phrases to be household names. They're going to grow awareness of who Rhino is. They're going to manage the Rhino publicity. We must magnify the good and find the nourishment to grow bigger and stronger in our criticism. I want to know the bad things people are saying about us. I want to take it. I want to eat it. I want to digest it and I want to grow bigger because of it. If someone says, Anthony, your hair looks like SHIT short. In fact, if you would just grow it longer, we would have millions and millions and millions of people that would be on Rhino every day. Do you know what I would do? I would look like Samson, right? Like my hair would be long. I want to know what people are saying. And I want Rhino to be a household name amongst one out of every five persons by 2023. I want you to walk on the streets, and out of every five people, if you said, hey, do you know what Rhino is? The fifth person would say, yeah, Rhino. Like, of course I know who Rhino is. Who doesn't know who Rhino is? Well, those four people. Well, those four people are silly little gooses, right? Okay, April. 
April, we want to start doing paid ads for Rhino search engine. Now, what is Rhino search engine, right? So we've described this and we've described the importance of it. And I'm going to share the importance of it even more. So every one of our companies that are on the marketplace has keywords associated with them. They're secret. You do not know them. I know them, right? Our team knows them because we've gone through everyone. And now this is not complete, right? So I'm not even going to try to embarrass myself by using the search engine. It's being done this week. But my team has gone through every single one of these companies and took a culmination or a selection of keywords from the site, a selection of keywords that offer you a look and feel of the company that describe who they are and a keyword for the owner's name. So by the end of the week, I should be able to say, okay, this person owns this. I should be able to write their name in, and then this company will come up. I should be able to know something about this company, type it in and this company is gonna come up. The point is when you have all of these companies in a marketplace, and there's only 36 here, but uh, there'll be thousands. There's no way anyone's gonna come to our page and say, okay, I'm, I'm looking for a lawnmower. Let me just, where is one? I, I need to find it. Where is it? No, they'll come up and type in lawnmower. And then our lawnmower company will come up. Now, what is our companies at this point? Our companies have effectively been completely engaged with our community. We know everything about everyone because we're a community that's all engaged together. We have a host that's going to be doing that. We now have a small business specialist that would have worked with every single company by now to make sure that your company is the most competitive for the industry that you're in. So at that point, let's go ahead and, 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 and play with the world, right? Let's go ahead and have people come in and use this search engine and type in lawnmower and go to our lawnmower companies. Let's go ahead and start doing pay ads and do a messaging behind this, this bar. This bar, do you support small businesses? Look what Rhino did. Look what Rhino did. Look at who represents Rhino. Because if you think for one second that the message that small businesses created their own platform and their own search algorithm that benefits only small businesses isn't going to be highly viable, highly progressive, and might even be worth grants and all the rest, but more so than that, worth a messaging that we're going to go ahead and exploit all over the world, you're cuckoo. And the way that that happens is so easy. All someone has to do is say, okay, I'll use their search engine. And at that point, we're going to create a search engine that's going to allow people to, see, I, I got to figure this part out. You know how like when you go to your URL bar, you can type something in and it's already because Google already coded their search engine into your URL bar. They don't come up with Google results or Bing results. I don't know, I, I need to find a way that we can make this um, accessible to people that are not on this page, right? Because if the only time this search bar gets used is when people come to this page, yeah, it can be super duper great, like don't get me wrong, but it's not gonna reach the heights that it could reach. And what I can promise you is between now and then, I would have come up with like a bazillion solutions for it. Maybe we'll go ahead and create a widget that allows people to put it on their own websites. Maybe we'll go ahead and actually code it so that you can put it in your URL bar. Maybe we'll go ahead and put it on your favorites. I don't know, but we're going to do it, right? So once that's all in, once that's done, now imagine paid ads being sending people here, here, here. Well, when they go ahead and go here, what do they come up with, right? So let's go ahead and use, um, let's use a different example this time, right? Let's go ahead and use Agency Deluxe, right? And I say that because they actually did an interview with us. So we have their, uh, their live Q&A. So someone comes, okay, so let's play it out, right? So a paid ad comes to this. They love what we're doing. They understand small business. They understand they're helping their neighbor. And they say, okay, well, I'm looking for an agency. Okay. So they go to Agency Deluxe. Now, mind you, agency is only one word. So it might come up with a couple different agencies. But we're go this will be, by the end of this week, this will be progressed that this might say what kind of agency, right? And, uh, and give them options. And that option is going to allow them to go to that company. Because this is going to be interactive and engaging of a search bar. It'll be the first of its kind. Like we're doing big things, right? So agency deluxe, they'll go to and they'll say, okay, cool. Agency deluxe. Like, what do I know about agency deluxe? I'm, I know it's a small business. I know I want to support them, right? I know that. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm on this site. That's why I clicked. I know I want to support them, but like, what do I know about them? All right. Like, I guess I could go to their website. Um, 
All right, so this is kind of cool. Uh, come on, load up a little bit. Okay. Why am I so impatient? All right, there we go. So the page loads up and cool, like this is what they do. This is the gentleman. Okay, great. And sorry that my service is not doing too great today, right? Um, okay, so his page looks great, but I don't know anything about this person. If I'm going to support my local business, if I'm going to support my neighbors, if I'm going to support my community, I'd like to see a face. I'd like to know that they're actually that person, right? Oh, they did an interview with Rhino. Rhino, I'm on the Rhino platform. Let's see what's going on here. All right. So my name is Irma Allingsen, and I'm assuming you're from Norway. And what I do is that I help people. It's 2007 or oh, 2009? Could be more embarrassing I'm wearing the same sweater. All right. All right. So he's on. Oh, oh, he has a an Only for Rhino special. Cool. I love it, right? So that would be the experience that one would get by participating in our search engine. Now, if we have thousands of companies and each of those thousands of companies are industry leading in their competitiveness in terms of their website quality, their offers, um, the seamlessness of it, the products, the services, and you had the ability to meet every single one of those business owners by seeing their interview with Rhino, upon clicking a company, that meets what you were searching for, like I was searching for a lawnmower, and this is a lawnmower company, and, and you see that that lawnmower company has Rhino standing behind them, is exactly who you're looking for. You got to meet the person, you got a special offer, would you buy it? And the answer then becomes yes, of course you would. So if we're able to go ahead and build that out and then have that much traffic coming to this search engine, then every single one of our companies gets traffic that they never even thought was possible because we're paying for the traffic that's gonna to go to every one of your companies. Now, every time that traffic comes to you, what do you do with it? Do you make a sale? Do you capture that lead? Do you go ahead and uh, uh, email them back? Do you have a special offer? We're going to have that all set up for you, right? So that's the important part of paid ads for the uh, Rhino search engine that's going to be happening in April. Uh, marketing message, user experience, search results, quality, and we're going to create an ecosystem through it, right? Like I just described a little bit. May. Wow, we're already 42 minutes into this. I'm not even in May yet. Well, I guess I am, right? Okay, so let me see if I could go a little fast. May. Grow, grow, grow. Rhino Marketplace and Rhino Search Engine are the number two, one and two things that need to grow in May. Now, as you realize, as it gets to May, these are just things that, we, that are a part of what we're doing. We have not spent an entire month focusing on just these things, but anyone could see and say, and now that you got the marketplace together, now that you got the company together, now that you got the community together, it is quite important that these companies and the marketplace is doing well and the search engine is bringing traffic in. So I say to that, let's go ahead and make sure we have over 500 marketplace companies. Let's make sure we have 500 search engine results per day. Right? Per day, I'm getting cute. I don't need two different things. Okay. Per day. And these two departments have made this far by being part of the day today. Now they are the day. This whole month is going to be just this, which means that after this month, these two departments are going to be so lean and mean and so strategically optimally placed that they're going to just grow. And if we have our marketplace and our search engine growing, imagine what it means to be on the marketplace. That's why I don't know, understand why I have to keep begging people, get on the marketplace. Okay, uh, June, we celebrate Anthony's birthday. Oh, okay, now, uh, new round of hires. We're gonna need to identify each department's needs. Are we gonna need another small business specialist? Do we have that many companies? Are we gonna need more website builders for our community? Do we need another event coordinator? Do we need to have a whole marketing agency? We're just gonna hire an agency and say, hey guys, listen, just get the word out. We want the whole world knowing who Rhino is, right? And as an aside, you might be looking at this and saying, and you don't charge for anything. Where's the money coming from? The money is coming from the coin. Effectively, what we're really doing is we're crowdsourcing a new economy by donation. And it's not even donation. It's, it's like the craziest thing. 
like this only works if it's a good idea, right? We're building an entire economy of only small businesses that completely customer, completely patronize each other on a platform that gives them sales, gives them everything that they were ever looking for while being given compensated in a coin that captures the value of the entire platform that they're building, which allows each business owner to continually purchase the coin, to continually invest into the growth of the platform, which equals the value of the coin on the back end. Guys, I really truly believe like there's gonna be a point in all of our lives where it's gonna be like, I just want a statue somewhere. Like give me a statue somewhere. I'm gonna do this, right? And I hope everyone's with me. July, double the events and uh, identify our VIPs, right? So at this point, I'm doing an event once every two weeks. I'm now going to be doing an event every single week. Plus, I want to know who our VIPs are. I have a list of who I tried to do top 20, but I could only do 21 because I couldn't cut someone out. But I have 21 members of Rhino that I believe that if somebody came up to them with a microphone, they would be the best person to ever speak on behalf of Rhino. And that's valuable to us. I want to reward these individuals. I want to give them positions. They need to be our, our, our lieutenants, our sergeants, because I need them and Rhino needs them spreading the word across the world of their experience with us, right? Like everyone saw Depper on the other, uh, Depper was on what was it, Thursday. And I simply just asked her, hey, how do we meet? You know, what's your opinion of Rhino? And she said some of the nicest stuff. And it was in that moment I thought to myself, if more people could just get to speak to people that have known me and Rhino for years, they would at least say, you know what? I give them a shot, right? So if we had 20 to 30 different individuals that could say just as nice things, but not because they were scripted or paid, but because they, uh, they have that experience, they speak from the heart, I want that. So this is really the ramp up for Rhino Coin that launches January, 2023. It's only five months away from this point. I need to have Rhino events weekly. I want to spend every weekend or a couple of days a week giving an event, continually growing our platform. I'm going to speak at all of them, but I also want our VIPs at various events. I want to empower our VIPs to represent Rhino from media articles and interviews. I want the CNN, those, well, don't get me started. Um, I want, I don't know, the New York Times, right? Like New York Times, right? I want the New York Times to have an article and they want to go speak to Rhino. And Rhino say, you know what? We're, gonna, we're going to offer you Ron Isaac, or we're going to offer you Misha, or we're going to offer you Laura, or we're going to offer you one of those who have been with us since the beginning. And we hope and pray to God that they have something nice to say. But we believe exactly what you're looking for, you're going to get from them because they are the good salt of the earth. They've been with us from the beginning. And whatever they say about us, whether it's good or bad, I know to be true. I, we want that because we cannot have a platform where just Anthony's running around talking. We need other people to say, no, no, no. Yeah, Anthony's crazy. But I got to tell you, being part of Rhino is the best thing that's ever happened to my life, right? Like that's what we want. August, Rhino Coin Department. Now, as you know, Rhino Coin's not built yet. We didn't, we're not wasting the time to build a coin that means nothing if you don't have the community, right? Like I can build a billion Anthony coin but if nobody wants the coin, then what did I really do? So you need to have the community first. So this department, we're going to hire to build the coin and to build the Rhino wallet. Now, this department's going to work with Coinbase, Binance, and CoinFlex on all their registration requirements and their actual team so that we can build it so that we can be on those platforms seamlessly. We're going to, we're going to build according to their parameters. We're going to build the wallet to automatically convert transactions to Rhino coin. And we're going to have a mega launch January 2023, first of its kind, right? No coin has ever been built this way. Every coin's been built like, hey, yeah, we come buy it, right? Or protocols for like some super duper software. Well, if you don't own this coin, you can't have the A flick to the B switch. And then the C switch goes to the, I have no idea what any of that even means. I just made that up, but I'm pretty sure that's what they do. No, no, no. This is like Chuck E. Cheese, right? Like we are building the place, the platform, the participants, the community, the loyalty, and then saying this platform uh, transacts in this. And these people, this community is the ones that own that. Therefore, 
Now we just need a home. We need a place. We need a town. Coinbase, would you like to bring all of us on? Because this is our valuation. These are the people that own it. This is how many people own it. This is how much coin. You don't need to do any work. We're just going to bring it to you. We're bringing you billions of dollars. Yes or no, right? And it's completely regulated, registered, IRS, New Jersey, everything. Do you want it? Yes or no? That is a dream. I want to say W-E-T dream, but that's like, I shouldn't say that, but I'm assuming all you guys can spell so you know what I just said. But that is a dream of any exchange. And that's what this team is going to be doing. September, concierge department. We used to have a concierge department and you know, business is business and some things move from some people and I love them so much. And maybe we'll outreach to them, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But we wanna have a concierge department at this point because at this point, you can see we have the media events, we have the, the presentations, we have the Anthony hosting every weekend events, we have the business, the business specialist, we have the host. We have so much going on that I wanna make sure that anyone that ever wants to talk to Rhino gets to talk to Rhino. I want a team that is 24 seven email accessible. I want a team that's 24 seven chat accessible. I want a team that's 24 seven booked call accessible. I want a team that's offering partnership access and partnership programs to anyone that wants to be a part of Rhino. Because anyone that's getting in in September, oh boy, that's a good time. Now mind you, it's not as good as time as now because September's what, like 10 cents a coin or something. And you could get one and a half cents until this weekend when it goes to two cents. But the point of the story is our outreach as well. We have like 500 members. By here, we're probably going to have hundreds of thousands of members on the low end. We want to make sure that never does a member say, oh, I want to go check out Rhino. Ah, oh, they didn't get back to me. Ah, oh, they don't answer emails over there. Oh, I couldn't get a single person on the phone. Oh, I couldn't chat, right? I don't want that. And we will go ahead and, and invest in this team and make sure it happens, right? Now we're down to the last three months of the year. October. Let's do a Halloween outreach. Let's be cute. Let's be fun. Let's have rhinos running all over the place. Let's go ahead and take a look at cows and tip them over because they sit in one place in a field with a gate around them and just watch other people have fun. They do everything they're told and we don't like them. We know we need them, but we don't like them, right? So let's do like Halloween costumes and charity. Can we do some type of spooky messaging and charity? Can we go ahead and Go ahead and, and, and offer Rhino merch or Rhino something that goes directly to charity. Can we make October all charity for Halloween? Can we make November Thanksgiving all charity plus Thanksgiving? Can we make December, which you guys had done so seriously, seriously, the charity you guys did, I'll never forget. Can we go ahead December next year, do such a level of charity that we could do so much charity for so many families all there? plus Christmas. Because if we could do three months of fun, Halloween, thankful Thanksgiving, heartfelt Christmas on a scale that we're going to be at, and all three of those months going directly to charity where we're able to help so many people. Do you have any idea if we do all this, what our January 2023 launch is going to look like? Anyone have any clue what that's going to look like? I'll tell you this. So you see this right here. This is January 23. This coin is projected at $3.83. I got to tell you, these numbers I calculated based on numbers, right? Okay, if we do 10% here and 5% here, and all of these numbers have been hardened, have been, um, have been confirmed by our actual growth so far. So all these yellow lines are weeks that we've already accomplished. But what we said the whole time was this was not our real launch. It's still a pre-launch. We have not done anything. And like I always said, guys, wait till next year and you're going to see what we're going to do. We have not done any of that yet. This is all organic. This is all our community. being. This is all me emailing people that have never heard from me before. We're having a couple of ads here. <clears throat> We're having our partners emailing other people or, or, or bringing them to your affiliate code, right? That's all this is. When we go ahead and start doing this next year, I got to tell you, I think this is going to increase our level of growth far past anything we ever did. 
Meaning this at three dollars and eight three cents. I wrote here that it would be like five dollars, right? Like opening price five dollars plus. If we're on the front page of the Wall Street Journal, and I know what you're saying, Anthony, Wall Street Journal, like you're gonna be on the front page of Wall Street Journal. Well, what did we do? We effectively made a market to the 99% of the globe that's sharing only 1% of the wealth that have all been put out of business by COVID that are all enslaved to big business and big government, gave them a platform, hired the best specialists in the world from website design to business specialists to internet marketing, put them on the map, paid for a search engine that we coded ourselves and gave it to the community, then gave everyone the coin that's going to capture the value of what the community is worth, while allowed everyone to purchase more coin along the way, all in the midst of just sitting there and having sales for a business that they never thought possible. If we do that, you think we can't be on the cover of the Wall Street Journal? You name one person, one company that's done even a tenth of that, even a tenth, anything. Look, go read the paper today. Look at any CEO out there and just name one. That's not a complete dirtbag, right? If we do even half of this stuff, this price is not going to be this price. And then all of 2023, right? Uh, our entire job is obviously to keep this going, but we're going to work with every company on our platform and find partnership opportunity that they can keep our coin on their balance sheet. So every, co every company is going to be transacting in our currency, right? Uh, they sell $100 in shirts, they collect $100 in cash, it then gets converted to the coin, fine. But then they're able to redeem it immediately. What if companies did not redeem all of it? What if companies kept 50% on their balance sheet? What if companies kept 25% on their balance sheet? Well, that's our goal, right? Can we go ahead and create favorable terms for companies to keep our coin on their balance sheet? Can we create corporate partnership programs? Um, can we go ahead and maybe say, we'll give you additional traffic, we'll highlight your company more? Can we figure a way? Because I'll tell you this right now. Everything we just said, if we add on top of that, and we have thousands or hundreds of thousands of companies all holding Rhino coin on their balance sheet as well. Guys, I don't know what you define as a global currency. You have it done. You have it right there. And I don't want to overstate it, right? Because I don't think you can make a, 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 a world reserve currency in here. I just don't. But do I think that you can create the path? Do I think, let's say it takes 20 years to create a, a reserve currency, right? Whatever. Do, if it takes 20 years, well, you have to have certain goals or certain milestones you hit by year one, two, and three. Do I believe we would hit those level of milestones? Yes. At the very worst case scenario, do I believe the coin would be worth thousands of dollars if we do this? Yeah. So let me ask you something, right? And I don't really need a response because I'm already going over time. It's 2.58, I have two minutes left. Does any of this look like things we can't do? Like seriously, can I hire a host and at all January allow this individual to find themselves and work together? Yeah, okay, cool. Now we got that done. Um, can I hire a business specialist that could simply go through the companies and engage with each company and say, hey, I got some recommendations for you. Yeah, I can do that. Can I hire a publicist whose only goal is to get us media events and to book me out so I could go to places and give live speeches? Yeah, sure. Can I pay somebody to run ads to my search engine? Yeah, I could do that. Can I spend the month growing? Yeah, I could do that. Can I double? Can I, can I hire new people? Yeah, I could do that. Can I double my events instead of bi-weekly, do it every week? Yeah, I could do that. Uh, right now, coin department. Can I hire a team to code a coin? Yeah, I could do that. Concierge department, can I hire a team to be nice to people's emails? Yeah, I can do that. Does anyone think I can't go ahead and put a Halloween costume and run around? Because I can. Does anyone think I can't do Thanksgiving, eat a big turkey? My family, my mother-in-law and my wife and my father-in-law never liked turkey. I made turkey. They asked me when I'm making turkey again. Can I make turkey? How about we have a rhino turkey? What Can I... And anyone that knows what we just did for charity knows we could do charity. You put all these things together, that is where you end up. So anyone that thinks this is impossible, recheck yourself. Okay, so that's that. Um, I do want to make two points to everyone. Uh, let me just pull it up real quick. 
Do I have it here? No. I think I have it here. Okay. Um, appointment types, right? Direct schedule link, copy. Okay. So I'm going into the chat right now. This is my scheduling link. I want to give it, don't click it yet. I'm only giving it to you under one condition. So when you take a look at Rhino Coin, as you know, to get Rhino Coin, it will be two cents in January. Now, the reason this doesn't say December is because we have not launched. Like we've launched to us, right? But like, you just saw what's gonna happen in 2022. We haven't done that yet. So next year starts two cents in January, three cents in February, one cent every month thereafter. Meaning that right now it's still one and a half cents, which means you have four days and it'll never be one and a half cents again. Which means if you decide to buy in February or in January instead of now, you will get 33% less amount of coin. If you decide to buy in February first right now, you will get 50% less coin all for the same dollar amount. So what I'm trying to say is, if you believe in what we're doing, then you have four days left to buy at this price. It's one and a half cents. Now, because um, everything's dated, we don't need to write one and a half cents here because we don't need to change it next month and write two cents because we don't need to change it the next month and write three cents. $100 is the block that you're able to purchase. And how many quantities of 100 would you like, right? So $100, say I want to buy 500 coin. Okay, one, two, three, four, five equals five times 100 is 500. Okay, so let's go ahead and purchase that. And you can see how many things I've been trying to purchase because I'm like a real fan of Rhino. Uh, and what you'll see is there's 15 here because I already tried purchasing five the other day. And again, on the live, so whatever. Five times 100 equals 500, subtotal 500. SSL secure shopping. Everyone that's ever bought anything knows the importance of that. Let's go to checkout. It's 302, I'm two minutes over. Give me a 307, I promise. Uh, what is your email name? You know, your information, basically you're buying something. Continue. Uh, it's going to ask your delivery method. This is just an email. Uh, this is what you're going to get. Well, you're gonna get an, a confirmation email to you immediately. Uh, January 1st, which I guess we'll do January 3rd or something because the first is a holiday. And I really love my team so much. And because I love them, I accept the level of work they do to be amazing. And I don't go ahead and try to take advantage of how good we have it by making anyone work on holidays. That being said, I want to show you what the certificate looks like you'll receive on January 3rd. Oh, and by the way, everyone that's gifted coin, those that gifted themselves, kudos, like good for you. Um, you received the certificate for the amount that you gifted to yourself, right? This certificate that you get the first of every month is your total ownership. So if anyone's like, oh, I bought 6,000 coin, but I already had 100,000. Well, this is a certificate that's gonna say you have 106,000. Uh, the ones, the gifting went through Abigail. So, well, this goes through, everything goes through her, but this is a, a different spreadsheet. Uh, so anyway, that's the, uh, I should probably just show it more, right? Hold on, I get carried away sometimes. So this is our seal. You'll have my signature. This will be your name, the amount of coin, and the purchase price, completely certified and authenticated. Okay, so let's get back to this. Uh, it doesn't matter what shipping you do. This was for the merch, more or less. Uh, obviously, emails come instantaneously. And then your information, whether it be debit or credit card, whatever the case may be, continue. Upon continuing, you'll get to review and place the order. Upon uh, uh, placing it, you'll immediately get your confirmation. You'll get your certificate in January, January 3rd. Uh, you will be receiving all of our emails and be a part of our entire community. Um, so that's that. Uh, I guess let me just, uh, what am I doing? All right, let me go ahead and see what's going on in the chat. I agree with Brian. All right, so let me read what Brian wrote. What should happen in Q1 of Rhino of 2023 Rhino should be visible when the ball drops. And I'll have a Super Bowl commercial. Oh my God. Brian, how cool would it be if we had a Super Bowl commercial? That's really cool. 
I don't know if I would, because I don't think I'd ever spend six million dollars on thirty seconds. But I don't know. Maybe we'll do like a collection. If Rhino's won a Super Bowl commercial, twenty dollars per Rhino, and by that point we could probably come up with that much money. Um, and Deborah, I love you for agreeing with him. Anyway, so this is the coin page. I just put it in the chat one more time. And I wanna give you my direct uh, booking because if you wanna to talk to me directly, I will call you at the time you book me and we'll go over what it is that's on your mind. That's not a sales goal. You do not have to book because you wanna buy coin. You could book and just be like, hey, Aunt, I love what you're doing. I had a couple of questions. Can you walk me through this? Um, I would say if you want to call, if you want to book just to do pleasantries, at least wait till Thursday so that all those that do need that time to make a, a financial decision have it available to them. But that's all. Also, contact us. Guys, everyone that's ever written in this, I actually email within like, I don't know, an hour or so. If you need to contact us, Simply do it here. I'm not gonna put it in the chat. I don't wanna mess up the links that are already there. And that's that for today. So I hope everyone had the most amazing Christmas. I'm going to spend this week uh, performing this presentation a couple of times. Um, I suspect it'll be different each day because I'll, I don't know, I'll get better at this maybe. But this week we're really going to share what our 2022 plans are. And because different people are on every call, we do need to be responsible that um, that everyone matters the same, right? So if you saw this presentation today and you wanna be back on tomorrow, I love it, come back. I love seeing the, some of the same names every day, but just don't, uh, don't get mad at me if I present somewhat the same thing because those that are new tomorrow are going to be interested in what we're talking about. 307, like I promised, I absolutely love everyone. I seriously do. Next year is gonna be the best year we've ever had. 2022 will be better than 2021, but not as good as 2023. Bye, guys.